Ah, I can finally just start a day staring out at the endless oceans, the cloudy skies, the beautiful little islands without a worry in the world with my beautiful little alien pet by my side because last episode we went and we tamed up that big old beast sitting right behind me, the big old apex spider. We've done it. We've pretty much succeeded. We've beaten the world. That's it. Game over. We've won the series. We've won the mod pack. I wish. Guys, welcome back. Welcome back to our hardcore modded survival. This is just the beginning. That's right. Uh, look, we may have won the battle, but we have not yet won the war. This guy here may be our ticket to victory in this mod pack, but there's only one way to find out, and that's by taking him out for a spin and seeing how powerful he can really be. Also, I should call her a she because it is a female. Um, but yes, we're going to be doing that today. We're going to take her out for a spin, see what she can do, try and kill a couple things, get her nice and leveled up, nice and strong, and hopefully, hopefully, it'll uh, allow us to eventually make our way onto the next tier and start taking down some of these prime apex wild beast thingamabobbies that have killed us time and time again over the last couple weeks but guys if you still enjoy the video please go ahead punch that thumbs up make it rain those thumbs up who knows maybe the thumbs up button will disappear tomorrow and then you'll be like damn it I should have hit it yesterday. I should have punched that thumbs up. Or maybe you should just direct your attention to the subscribe button because we are on a go. Uh, we are on a mission to reach 850,000 subscribers. I don't have a date yet. I really got to set like a new proper channel goal, don't I? I think I love them just as much as you guys do. I think in the new year, we'll uh, we'll definitely set one of those out and we'll, we'll strive towards cracking it. Maybe it's the million. Maybe we'll just focus on 900 for now. Who knows? What I know, though, is we need ourselves a Spino Saddle. So let's get this thing crafted up. Oh, oh, sorry. I nearly forgot. I got some new skins here. Um, I don't know what they do or how they work exactly. Oh, okay. Well, not, I don't know how they work. They're literal skins. But these here, I believe, are based on the new animated series that's coming out in 2022. This one here is... I've actually got names. What are they called again? This one is Santiago Spear. So this is uh, my dude, Vin Diesel. Arc Fanatic. Um, and this is Santiago's axe, which he throws at those like weird little like guys from... Actually, you know, maybe these aren't from the animated series. I think these might even be from the uh, from Arc 2. These might be from the sequel. Anyways, that's your, your, your pike. And this is your axe. I think it's cool that like we finally get some attention to these tools because like i don't know the old standard like models they get a little boring after a while it's nice to give them something a little bit fresh um anyways what's this little backpack tickle fingers which oh it's just a little anyways don't matter let's go my spino buddy let's go let's see what you're made of i know we've definitely got some sarcos out here that could probably have a uh, stern talking to um but maybe we'll just focus on the herbies to start out with 800 damage pretty good start pretty good start hopefully um that's a good sign of things to come i'll be very very disappointed if this guy ends up the same way that our alpha sorry not alpha our apex rex did um also we got snakes out here now as well apparently hey there was an apex side boa okay also i got a sarco eye out of killing something just then interesting also damn look at this my dude here, like, literally fallen asleep as we speak. Uh, not good. But what do we got in here? A piece of metal. A single old piece of metal. Um, oh, Ichithornis. Good. They all deserve to die. <laughs> I would take down their entire species if I had the choice. Uh, get out of here, little Dilos. I'm no longer looking to tame you. I have all the Dilos I could ever want. So leave us. Oh, oh, so this guy can swim. Ooh, of course he can. All right, Torpor is dropping. That's what I like to be seeing. Um, dude, this is like the first or the closest thing to an aquatic pet we've had this entire this entire world. I can actually move swiftly in the water. Ooh, I can go looking for the giant eel, or I can just kill all the fish. <laughs> we can just slay all the fish and get some nice bonus experience, right? No, let's stick to land. That's where the cool dinosaurs are. Uh, the thing is, obviously, in land over there, there is a giant gorilla now, which I want to avoid. Um, also, I think I brought stuff for taming reasons today. I think we've got some narcotics and we got all the knockout stuff that we need. Darts and all that fun stuff. Uh, so we... Oh, that was an apex terror bird. Okay, whenever we kill an apex today... Oh, that's an apex monkey right there. Whenever we kill an apex, we def... Where are you going? I thought it was going to run away and leave me there for a second. Uh, but we are going to need to grab that little backpacks because you never know what you're going to find. Oh. All right, good on you. That was an Apex Raptor. What? I didn't even know. Wait, did he drop any loot at least? 
All right, if you did, I hope you harvested it, buddy. Um, there was an apex. What did I take down? Apex. Huh. Okay. There must have been something that didn't drop a backpack. Never mind. It's all good. Uh, but yes. We need to take down Apexes. Apex, one, give us great loot. Two, a ton of experience. And three, if we find the right Apexes, I'm talking Titan Boas and Uranios, uh, are going to give us the next, basically, basically the next tier of knockout weaponry that we're looking for. Also, somebody been nibbling on my butt. Also, careful, there is a pygmy nearby. Don't want to be angering no monkeys. Where's the pygmy? Where is the pygmy? I've had the pygmy warning. You do not need to warn me twice. Also, what is up with the track just stuck up there? <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Have fun up there, buddy. You have fun up there. All right. I don't know where the pygmy is, um, but we got to avoid it at all costs. Yes. We learned this. Uh, well, have we learned it? I don't know. Because every time I say that I've learned it, we then go and ruin it, basically. And, um, well, we do, we do it again. We redo what we said we weren't going to do. So I feel like that might be an Apex Kano just up the beach. What are you? What are you, buddy? Are you an Apex or are you just an ordinary little fellow? It is. And it's a nice high level one too. I should probably tame it. But never mind. I'm going to kill it. Especially because my dude here has, by the looks of it, a nice amount of knockback with it, with his hit. Which means we can really... Damn, that's some nice. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. We can really distance ourselves from um, our, our prey. We can really give them a nice knock. Also, yes, our guy here has got Artifact of the Clever, which is nice. Uh, because obviously I can't transfer them to him, but I can uh, tra transfer them off him. So we're going to leave that off him. That way we can hopefully stack up some extra artifacts on this journey. We got 88 levels though. We should definitely go and designate these to their rightful positions. I'm going straight to 30,000 health. Um, I've, I've, we've, we've made too many mistakes up until now. Not putting levels... So we're going to make sure we keep that nice and high. Also, I've just spotted a Prime. There he is. It's a Dirty Curious. An Apex Dirty Curious Prime Wild. 129,000 health. I don't know how... I don't... Like, maybe that would be a good starting point to take them down. Maybe that's the type of thing we've got to be targeting. But the thing is, I don't really know... I don't... I don't know what they're capable of is the problem here. Like, what if... What if he's, what if he's, I don't know, summons in an army or something? What if he's got some crazy special ability that I don't know about? But like, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not a scary thing to think about taking down a Dota Curious. It's like, it's Dota Curious. How bad could it be? Until it, just, uh, until it ends up killing your most prized possession, your Apex Spider. So I'm not going to go double with that just yet. I do want to spend a little bit more time just... Honing, honing down our Apex Spino's skills, basically. Um, obviously, you know what? I think he, I think he needs to go up to like. He just needs more experience, is what he needs. <laughs> he needs all the experience he can get. I cannot sacrifice this beast. I cannot afford to lose another crazy Apex dinosaur. I'm gonna make sure that does not happen. Well, I'm gonna at least try, at least. We're already dealing 1,500 damage. I think this is the most damage we've ever dealt this entire series. So we're on the right track. Uh, we've got to find more Apexes to take down. Could you imagine if today's the... Ooh, Spino, hello. What, what are you? Apex Spino. I'm going to go kill it. 100% I'm going to go kill it. Why wouldn't I? Wait, maybe I should wait. Yeah, maybe I should just... I should wait for my guy to get a little bit more health first. It would be great for experience. Um, but I don't know what sort of damage he deals. He has one shot. Then again, damn, he looks so cool too. And it's a male, isn't it? No, it's a female. Okay, I was going to say, if it's a male, it could definitely be worthwhile us taming it and then breeding an army of Apex Spinos. That is... Stop dismounting your dinosaur, you dummy. Uh, that would be like some 200 IQ moves right there. But yeah, obviously it's a female, so it doesn't matter. Man, all of these things are females. Anyways, uh, should we just go slap it around a couple times? Boom, 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 and boom. Thank you very much, buddy. Very much appreciate it. Thank you very much for your amazing Calium Prime meat. This stuff is going to come in so handy. So handy. I can't overestimate how great this stuff's going to be. It's going to help us in evolving our Pygmy, which is then again going to help us uh, take down even stronger dinosaurs. Another Spino. Please be another Apex. It's a male this time. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Do we actually... Oh, like I don't want to. Ferox has been defeated. I think I just, I think I just killed a pygmy. Well, I don't know if I killed it or someone else killed it, but there's a pygmy Ferox. 
apparently they're really really handy to have um but i keep like every now and then i get a death message for one i haven't yet tamed one or found one alive so oh no we did i think and then it, we we either killed it or something trampled it i think we might have trampled it either way doesn't look like there's any crazy gorillas coming for us so that's nice this spider we're gonna work out what we're gonna do here can i fire <gasps> I can knock it out from the back of my spino. Okay. Can I heal up my spino from the back of my spino? <laughs> He's too weak. He needs a lot more health. Um, You know what we need? We need teleporters. That's what we need. If I had teleporters, we could teleport home. Maybe get ourselves a health potion. Heal him up. Come back and try and tame this guy up. He doesn't seem to want to fight. But then again, he is quite a low level. Should I just try and take him down? Oh, I don't... Yeah, I'm just going to kill it. I'm just going to kill it. We'll find another male at some point. There's no rush. There is no rush. But there is... Is a bunch of awesome loot. And that's what we've got to focus on for now. We don't need to rush straight into breeding these big old beasts. Let's just focus on the one that we got. Uh, and then we'll, then we'll worry about what, what comes next, I suppose. Just one step at a time. We don't need to get ahead of ourselves. Look at these things. They're so common. All right, it's female. Good. Good. I don't want to be tempted to have to tame it. If I keep if I, if I keep fighting males, I'm going to end up just giving in at some point. There's only so many times I can just run straight past one of these guys and tell myself not to tame it up. But I, I think what I'm most worried about is finding a high level one. Because I would not be able to resist a level 1000 to breed mine with. I'll say, ooh. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, that was a really good one. Hold on. What did we just get? Um... More artifacts. I gotta hold them on me though. Look at all the artifacts. Oh my gosh. But we got this prime meat instead. We got the Doom prime meat. So it looks like these crazy apexes have a chance of dropping a variety of different prime meats, maybe. I think. I don't know. I'm, I'm learning as well, okay? Yeah, I guess so. Because we now have all of them Friar, Lazarus, Doom, and Callion. Okay. Without even knowing, we've gone and obtained them all. I think that's all of them anyways. Also, damn, that's a good compound bow. Um, we got some extra saddles. Bacillosaurus saddle, Beast Rufo saddle. I mean, we can go and tame all of these guys. It's, damn, that's good. That's good. That's a good chest piece. I'll take that chest piece. That is a really, really nice chest piece. And for all of this loot that we aren't going to use right this second, the time will come. The time will come. We'll break it down or we'll use it or upgrade it or we'll do something with it. Also, hold on a second. What's with this RG? I haven't seen an RG yet this entire season. At least, wait, what's his little, oh, that's his like little, he just killed something and now he's got a little special buff, right? Um, I haven't come across a single RG other than the big old crazy ones. And now, now a dead one, if that counts as an entire different version. Um, but also I just spotted a few other creatures that we haven't encountered before. Sabertooth Tigers, we got scorpions. I'm still kind of scared of these guys. After what happened last time we encountered scorpions. Um, not feeling my best. But I wouldn't mind a little bit of chitin. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. I'm going to die, aren't I? Oh. What? Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? Excuse me? What? What? Where did that even come from? Are you kidding me right now? Oh, that is a joke. Oh, that is a joke. That, no, 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 no. No. Are you for real? Like. Oh. Uh, I knew. That going near those scorpions was a bad idea. Except the scorpions weren't the problem. It was the apex dragon that was hiding somewhere. Where did he even fly? Wait, look, I didn't even... Well, come on. Like, I cannot catch a break. I can't catch a break. I do everything right. I be cautious. I make smart decisions. I do everything I gotta do to ensure my survival. I was trying my best. And then the game's just like, oh, by the way, here's a dragon. Just say hello to this dragon. The dragon wants to come and say hi. Well, I don't want to say hi to the dragon. I want nothing to do with the dragon, as a matter of fact. <laughs> how am I going to get my stuff back? Also, how can I tame that dragon? <laughs> can you tame it? 
<laughs> it's an apex. I should have grabbed a spyglass before coming over here, but it is an apex. Ah, oh, this is the worst. Also, this that's an apex quetzal, I reckon. All right, we're not worried about the quetzal though. I'm worried about the whereabouts of my dead body. Um, oh, I can't believe we just lost our spino. All right, I'm just kind of be cautious here because a dragon is going to appear out of nowhere more than likely. And I need to get my stuff somehow. Where'd the dragon go? Did the dragon leave? Did he just... Did he literally just fly down here to kill me and now he's bugged off? I think he has. Are you for real? I... So he literally just flew down here just for the sake of giving me a rough time. Oh, what a pile of trash. Alright, I got so much loot to somehow collect now too. Alright, where's my gravestone? I'm so scared right this second in case you can't tell. Um, why am I hearing fight music? I don't know where the dragon is. Nor do I don't want to dismount my dinosaur. Um, okay. I think it's right beneath us. That's my stuff. Okay. What is attacking me? It's fine. I think it was just a piranha. It was. It was a freaking piranha. Okay. Still no idea on where the dragon is, but I've got mm, some of my stuff. Um, now I need to somehow get the loot. All right, look, let me just transfer as much of this as I can. I'm going to go and get all the loot that's down there. I've pressed up. Just go and re-equip all my stuff. I have no idea where this dragon went, guys. I'm starting to think it might be in my imagination. Was there a dragon? <laughs> Am I imagining the dragon? I do not feel safe though. All right, here's, here's what we're going to do. I need to go like this. I need to equip this gun. And then I'm pretty sure I can go like... What is attacking? Piranhas. What is wrong with you guys? Leave me alone. I don't want to be here any longer than I have to be. Okay. So what's awesome about this gun is you can actually go and pull the inventory straight from backpacks using it. Which is really, really cool. Uh, perfect for, for times like this, I suppose. Um, and I think it only fills up... It doesn't fill up your entire uh, weight. So it won't like you know over it consume you you can just pick up exactly what you need to pick up dump it somewhere else and then keep on moving i cannot believe that not for not for a second and where did the dragon go he just he just vanished into thin air also is that what i thought it was is that an apex quest no not you where did the apex quest will go there was 100 percent an apex quest all above us maybe the apex dragon's like yo i'm just gonna I'm gonna vanish into thin air turn pull a david copperfield vanish into a quetzal Oh my gosh. Yeah, for real. I don't know what happened to this dragon, man. That's an ordinary Quetzal. And then I saw one other one. Maybe it wasn't an Apex. It's, it looked massive wherever it went. Anyways. I ain't seeing no fire no more. I can't believe I nearly survived as well. That's the worst. Like my guy. And he had the slightest little bit more health. He would have survived it. Ordinary Quetzal, Ordinary Quetzal. All right, I must be imagining the whole Apex Quetzal thing. Um, I don't know, guys. I'm so confused right now. I don't know what to think. Dragon just pops up out of nowhere. Burns my face up. Is that... No, that's a, that's a Wyvern. That is a very strong Wyvern. Uh, I, I don't even know why I'm looking for this dragon. I think... I don't know. I'm just curious. I'm really just curious. It's got to be down here somewhere. Hold on. There he is. I knew. He's actually not even that. Wait, is he? Oh, there. Oh, look at him just chilling there. He's like staring. He's literally watching me. I think he's actually watching me. Oh, he is 100% watching us. We're having like a step. Oh, that's why he's got an egg. He has an egg. Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, Mr. Dragon. He's not like... He's not... like he's, he's got a lot of health and a lot of torpor. But it's nothing like... Nothing too crazy, right? Okay. Okay. I'll be back, buddy. I'll be back. BRB, my friend. I'll see you in a second. Okay. So now that we're back home... 
I need to get some teleporters up and running is what I got to do. The thing is, I might not have the electronics. I do not have the electronics, which means we need to go and go some other stuff instead. Let's start out with a fabricator. Check. Let's get a generator. Wait, I might not be able to. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> One step at a time. It's okay. We have all this, all this space up here in the new base. Plenty of room. You best believe we're going to get ourselves all of the electronics we could possibly need. I've set up a little teleporter network here. Also, I don't know why I typed in Ellie, but doesn't matter, I suppose. <laughs> get me my electro... Okay, not my electronic. My awesome teleporter. Start out with the remote. Then I'm going to set up, once we get another 38 of these bad boys, we're going to go and set ourselves up a teleporter at the base. That way we can teleport back and forth whenever we please. I think it's about time we do this. This... We should have done this a long time ago, as a matter of fact. I should have done this such a long time ago. But better late than never, I think. So, let's get this teleporter set up. I don't care where we put it. This is pretty deep for now. Let's just chuck it right there, okay? We're going to give it a really, give it a little name. Home. Sweet home. <laughs> home sweet jome. Okay. Um. Now, i got to get my butt back over there. I'm going to steal that egg. I do not care. I don't know how I'm going to steal it. I need to somehow take down a dragon to do it. Uh, that's not going to happen. That is not going to happen. But we're going to have to find the way. That's all we really can do. <laughs> do I need to leave any of my stuff at home? Probably. But am I going to? No. I am going to get across, get to top. My fella right here. I, sh I don't know. I'm trying to think who might be able to survive the, the wrath of an apex dragon. Probably nobody. I don't even know why I'm trying. I just want to see what happens, really. I think that's all there is to it. I need that egg. <gasps> I got an idea. I have a very crazy idea, you might say. I'm going to drop a little. I'm going to surprise you with this one here, though. We'll see what happens. Okay. Okay. We are back in the land of the dragon. So I had seen things about these flying creatures. I think it's manticores, dragons, wyverns, pretty much all of your little flying friends. Um, they nest. They chill and protect their nest. I guess we just got a slight little bit too close to this guy. He's only got 20,000 health. But I don't know how close we can actually get without upsetting him is the problem here. Um, oh, what was I going to do? I guess I'm going to go and do this. Do I need it? Do I need... Oh, you still got all my items as well. So we should probably be careful about that. I'm going to send you home, back to home sweet Jome. Um, at least for now. Okay, this, is a, this isn't the plan of attack. This is just something I want to try out and see what happens. I just want to like see if I can creep up behind his big old butt. The problem... Oh my gosh, he wastes no time. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. That was scary. Oh, that was scary. Okay, this is... This, oh, that was a mistake. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I should not have done that. Okay. We, yeah, we're not ready for that. Ah, oh, I should have just eaten him alive with my Spino while I had the chance. My idea, though... We're going to craft up a hatchery. This is a very, very dumb idea, but it's the only one that I've got. I wonder if we can use the hatchery to somehow... Like, pull the egg from his base without him knowing. If we could just snatch it out from beneath him. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to work. But I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. This might be the dumbest thing ever. Um, but we're gonna. What, what have we got to lose? Uh, you got any loot on you that I can borrow? Yeah, none of this is going to be very helpful at all, is it? Probs not. Okay, cool. Um, I recommend you to step aside. Because I am going to head over to the last remote location. I've missed these teleporters. I've missed them a bunch. Oh, hey, Dalo. Not, the, not good timing. Not good timing. I don't feel like getting poisoned right now. I'm actually trying to fight a dragon, as a matter of fact. Um, okay, this is actually not ideal at all. Okay, so what I want to do is just so if this works, if this works, it's going to be the best thing ever. Um, I'm just going to chuck a hatchery down. All right, I'm going to activate it. Imagine if somehow he manages to snatch that egg. The other problem here is I need to somehow get my items without angering the dragon. Which I think we somehow just managed to do. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, we've got our stuff back and I managed to drop down the nest. Is the nest closed enough? I have no idea. 
I have probably not, as a matter of fact, but it's okay. Um, is the dragon back on the nest? Is the next question. Did he return? Yes, he's still up there. He is 100% still up there. Can I shoot it? I guess I don't have my darts, so no. No is the answer to that question. Um, he's really accurate too. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Maybe I should check my hatchery. See, see if plan B actually worked. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, there's nothing. There's nothing on his inventory. Maybe I should leave my inventory on him and just run, like just bum rush him and see what we can achieve like that. I guess what I'm wondering is maybe, like, what do you mean not a valid target? Give me that and chuck it in here, okay? I'm wondering if like what would be the chance here that maybe we just throw a bunch of levels into movement speed on one of our pteranodons and then just try and draw the dragon out as far away as we possibly can. Like, imagine if that worked. Um, let me try this out, hey? You got many levels on your buddy? One level, that's all you've got. Okay, you're, you're way too slow. You're way too slow. But this one, you got a bit of a, you got a little bit of speed. Just a little bit of speed. Will it be enough? Probably not. Um, and it'll probably take too much time to level you up. But is it worth the risk? Again, probably not, but I feel like I've got to try something. Also, I don't know why I'm flying over there. I can literally just do this, right? Why am I doing this right now? Can someone talk me out of this? But if I can like outrun him, that's the thing. If I can outrun the dragon, outfly the dragon, the reward will be immeasurable. But what if I can't? Because he seems to move very fast, like very, very quickly. Look at him. He's an angry old soul too. Hmm. All right. Just going to kill this Brunto, get some cheap and easy experience, hopefully. Uh, don't run towards the dragon, please. <laughs> I very much appreciate you don't do that. Just stay right where you are, buddy. Stay right where you are. Just let me get these last little nibbles on you. Okay, please, 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 please. You're nearly done. You're nearly finished. There we go. Thank you for your experience. Going to go to a good cause, I promise you. So, that looks like an Apex Dialer. Not appreciating the poison, but I really appreciate the experience if you give me that. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, seven levels. Get him into movement speed. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. We are getting somewhere. Now, why does he attack me on sight? But he doesn't really care too much about the other dinosaurs. Alright, I'm going to try something else out instead here. Just as a little, like... One last little safety precaution just to make sure that everything goes according to plan. Also, is that the one? I swear one of these quests was definitely looked like an apex. Anyways, I'm thinking, what if I get his attention, but then run away by foot? And that way, there's no risk at all. There he is. Oh my gosh, that is terrifying. Look at him just hiding out. I just want to see what like what it looks like when he, when he engages you. There he comes. Here he comes. Yeah, there is like no, there is, there is absolutely no way to outrun him. Oh my gosh. Okay, bad ideas. <laughs> I don't, I don't think there's a good way to do this, guys. He's an angry old soul. I don't think I can outrun him. I think we're just going to lose our Tyranodon if we try. And he deals, he only deals 1700 damage. That's actually not much. This guy, on the other hand, might actually be able to survive a few attacks. And has 48 levels up his sleeve. Okay. Uh-huh. I could actually get some health potions, but it's going to cost us the amazing meat. Probably not the best idea. Yeah, no. I'm gonna, I am got to save these meats. We can't go wasting them. And there's definitely... Oh, unless... There's definitely no way this spider is going to be able to, like, deal enough damage... At the rate it needs to to take it down. Did I just call this a Spino? Kano. This Kano. This Kano is not quite going to get it done in the fashion we need it to. Oh, and I just realized we've already maxed out our Apex Kano. So I can't actually get him any stronger than he already is. However. Oh, does he deal more damage when he's running? I don't know. He somehow dealt quite a bit of damage just then though. Okay. He can deal a little bit. But can he take on a dragon? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. Look. 
I think the risk is worth the reward here, guys. I think we got to at least try. Um, I'm going to regret every second of this. How am I even going to get... Oh, no. How am I going to even get to my stuff? You wait here, Kano. Don't do anything dumb. If I don't come back with my items, then just remain where you are. He's coming for me. He was nowhere near me. He wasn't even close to me. He wasn't even close. Now, I didn't see a death message for Mikado, so Mikado might actually be okay. Yes, you are. He literally just flies out, kills me, and then gets his butt out of here. Over and over again. That's all he does. Except that time, I managed to get my stuff. And wait a second. I swear it's getting less and less health every time I come up here. Or did it always just have 18,000 health? Uh, I think I'm even... I think I'm just amazed that this, this even happened. Like, we were on a roll. We were on a spree. We were absolutely killing it. And we lost it all to a simple little mistake that I didn't even know we were making. A simple little mistake. It wasn't even a mistake. I just, I just stepped too close to something I didn't even know existed. I feel like that pretty much sums up this entire mod. <laughs> you're dead before you even know why you're dying. All right, here's what's up, guys. We're going to go for one last stint here just to see what this dragon can really do. I'm going to sacrifice my second Apex Tyranodon. Not the good one, not the powerful one. Our, our slightly lower level one. I'm just going to fly by and I'm going to see what I can get away with. Basically, see if he can outrun me and how fast he can. Maybe see if I can fly over the top of him. But I feel like the more we know about this dragon, the better. So here we go. If I can just fly straight over. At least we'll be able to... S Ooh. Oh, he wasn't triggered by that move, was she? Okay. Let's go slightly lower. I'm going to regret every... I'm going to regret this entirely, aren't I? I want to go from a different angle, though. I want to go from a different angle. I leveled this guy up just a little bit into speed and health just so we can maybe survive a single attack if we're lucky here. But this is going to be the one that... This is going to be a mistake. Yeah, have a look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Flew the wrong direction. Oh, can I lure it away? Oh, he's fast. Oh, it's fast. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. Oh, no. <laughs> I bet you it returns straight back to its nest as soon as it's done killing us as well. Surely, though, I lured it far enough. I'll say... What happened to my other... Did I lose two Pteranodons? No. What did I do with my other one? Wait a second. Now I'm confused. What did I do with my other Pteranodon? Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> well, I don't even know anymore, guys. We started out today on such a on such a nice note and we end it on such a disastrous one. What a horrible outcome. We lose a couple dinosaurs, we lose <sighs> I don't even know. All hope. I'm kind of lacking a lot of hope right now, but guys, we'll come back from this. We always do. At least now we know. Avoid dragons at all costs and uh, keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes very, very open. I don't even know. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, please. Go yeah, okay. Fantastic. Rain down in my parade. If you did enjoy the video, though, please go ahead. Punch that thumbs up. Make it rain. Those thumbs ups. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Until then, keep us smiling. Have a fantastic day. And I hope your day was better than mine. <laughs> Until then, bye. For now.